here to talk to you today about gluten-free cooking. Eating gluten-free doesn't always mean that you're eating healthy. So first and foremost, I say I try and cook naturally gluten-free, and that means, again, using as few of those store-bought alternatives as possible and really focusing on anti-inflammatory foods that are naturally gluten-free, meaning you know, great proteins, vegetables, and all of that. A general tip for baking is always to aerate your flour. Um, the great bakers out there tell you the proper way to measure is to actually scoop. And when I work with those flavors, I find it's easier to make the substitution. White rice flour, chickpea flour, almond flour, and then like buckwheat is up there. And then just like miscellaneous, either polenta, cornmeal. Thank you very much.